Hi guys, it's Mickey the Poet back with another video and today I wanted to talk to you guys about bourgeois modeling. I myself actually modeled about a month and a half ago, I think it was the 1st of September. I saw that one of my friends was hosting an open model call so she was looking for models to help promote her photography business. So I couldn't say no because I'm a narcissist, I'm an attention whore, I'll admit it. I'm not afraid to admit that. Um, that may not be a good thing, but hey. <laughs> I've always loved to pose for cameras, love to ham it up for uh, home videos. My parents used to video uh, tape me with those old clunky, like, I don't even know what you call them, camcorders? Yes, camcorders. And I was a total attention whore from a young age, so there you go. <laughs> You've learned another thing about me that you probably didn't want to know. My photographer friend, Kenzie Stevens, she has a business called Bourdois by Kenzie, and I got selected to be a model, and I did not know what to expect. Uh, for some context, because not a lot of people know what Bourdois modeling is, you either uh, model lingerie or some type of underwear, and it's kind of like you either do it as a gift for your significant other or like fiance, uh, partner, whatever you want to call it or you can do it for yourself and I took these pictures for myself because I wanted to look hot for my damn self. So I have never seen myself as conventionally attractive or seen my body as something that people would want to photograph or admire and look at and I wanted to step out of my comfort zone and gain confidence and do something that I may have never even thought that I would do in the past. I, if you would ask me, uh, I don't know, even like a couple years ago, if I would do bourgeois modeling, I would have straight up said, no, I ain't attractive enough for that. Uh, for that. <laughs> I stepped out of my comfort zone. It has been one of the most beautiful and rewarding things of my life. Ever since I modeled for Kenzie, I have felt like I've gained a shit ton of confidence. I feel just more secure and more powerful, like I have control over my own body. It's just really opened doors and opened my mind. I also, I wanted to speak about something. Uh, if you decide to do this type of modeling, I would expect some backlash because I actually had a friend who I was fairly close with and trusted. When she saw the pictures, she called me a whore and basically gave me an ultimatum saying that she did not want anything to do with me unless I deleted the pictures and <laughs> I blocked her because I don't need that negative influence in my life. And if somebody calls you a slut or a whore because of the way you choose to portray yourself or your lifestyle or how you dress, how you act, you don't need that negative influence in your life. So snip snip. I am going to react live on camera, I've never done a reaction video, to my modeling pictures. I am wearing in this one my Fruit of the Loom boxers and my favorite white sports bra. And my favorite thing about this picture is that you can see uh, my Blackbird Fly tattoo, which is the first tattoo I ever got. And if you guys want me to do a tattoo video, I am totally open to that. I want to do a video uh, one of these days telling you what my tattoos mean. On to the second one. Here I am in all purple, my favorite color. I have an amazing smile on my face. My red hair is thriving. I look fiery and confident and sassy. My shirt today actually says sassy. Well, that's very fitting. I have my tomboy boxers on. And Tomboy makes uh, unisex boxers, and if you're gender non-conforming, that's definitely a great option for underwear that won't make you dysphoric. So wearing underwear that doesn't make you feel like yourself really sucks, and I did that for years. This one, oh my god, my damn eyes. Like, I can't tell if I'm either going to murder someone or I'm going to make out with someone. Probably both. But you can see my tattoo again, and I like that, and... Um, I look fierce in this one, I'm not gonna lie. And then the last one, which is probably my favorite from the entire shoot, it's me upside down on this couch, and I'm still wearing my Fruit of the Loom boxers and my white sports bra, and you can see my uh, butterfly tattoo and my blackbird fly tattoo, and if you look really closely at my wrist, 
you can see my Troy Sivan Blue Neighborhood House on my wrist, <laughs> which is this. I got a new tattoo since I've modeled, and it is Great Britain, the UK, because I lived in London for two months, so I thought I'd get a tattoo and carry a piece of London with me forever. But anyway, this is my favorite picture, and I'm probably shit at doing these reaction videos, but let me know if you want me to do more reactions to stuff in the future. But I wanted to share these photos with you guys, and I wanted to say, don't let anybody make you feel like you don't have control over your own body. You have control over your confidence. You have control over your happiness. And don't let negative influences get you down because you are beautiful and perfect just as you are, and you deserve to feel like the fierce bitch that you were born to be. Anyway, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. And I see 21 Pilots tomorrow, so if any of you guys see me and recognize me at the Nashville Bandito Tour, then feel free to come up and say hi and give me a hug. I love you guys. Bye. The stars lean down to kiss you.